We're doing a badass barbecue tour of the best barbecue joints in Melbourne. We're here at Fancy Hanks. We're going to go inside, speak to Mike Patrick, and tell us what it's all about. We've come upstairs. We're in Fancy Hanks. It smells amazing. We're here with Mike Patrick. Mate, can you tell us a little bit how Fancy Hanks got started? So Fancy Hanks been around for five years now. Started off as in a lawn bowls club with a trailer pit just doing some brisket and pulled pork for whoever showed up and since then graduated through a couple of venues and now we're top end of Burke Street in Melbourne uh, with a two level rooftop bar above and 100 seat restaurant so Mate, the venue looks amazing. The docker machine's going crazy and they've just opened the doors. Look at that smoker over there guys. Mate, what made you choose a Silver Creek? Look, I've known Paul for close to 10 years now and he's in my opinion, by far the best, the best steel worker in town. Um, I bugged him for two years to get him to build our big puffing belly, we call it. Um, and it's, you know, just a, it's a good piece of machinery. Yeah. What wood do you use here, mate? So we use a combination, a bit of salvaged um, native timber, so black wattle, iron bark, a little bit of red gum, whatever we've got, really. So. Now, I've noticed you have a lot of beef ribs in the smoker at the moment, a lot of brisket going across the pass. What brand of beef are you using, local beef? Yeah, all our beefs are Connors, so premium grass-fed from Gippsland. I've, I've been using the guys for a long time now, and I grew up in Gippsland, so, you know, it's a good connection to, you know, and some of the best best cattle in the in the country, I think. Day in the life of a pit master. When does it start? How long does it go for? Is it pretty? Oh, look, it's it's dirty, it's hard work, it's sweaty. You go home and smell the smoke, but it's a... You know, a labour of love, I think. There's a, you know, we've got a great crew here. We've got our pits running 24-7, so there's always someone tending to them. You know, the, the meats are going on late at night for the next lunch and then early in the morning for the dinner. So it's a it's an ongoing process, really. Mike, thanks for your time, mate. Let us go around your amazing establishment. The smell in here is amazing, guys. If you do yourself a favour, if you're in Melbourne, get down, see Mike and his team, try the brisket, try the O'Connor B short ribs. Again, mate, thank you for having us.